There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? Yes, I do. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. Aw. If I had an android, I'd be so sad that you're leaving me, but it'd be okay. So I'm not sure if this is going to be another video or I'm going to add this onto the last one because I have no idea what comes after next after this. I think it's just the um, cutscenes or something. So I don't know. Okay, yeah, this is. answering that chat I, I don't do PlayStation chat I, I can't hear anyone like PlayStation everyone's like oh it's awesome but I'm like they can't even handle something as simple as a party chat Xbox is awesome I can turn down the game volume turn up the chat volume or I could take the game volume off completely and still hear everyone in the party just fine but PlayStation that I don't get any of that it's like the game and chat comes through the headphones, but the game is super loud. I can't turn the game volume down. And then if I take the game off the headphones, then it lowers the, ch the party volume even more and only has to come through one headphone. So I'm just like, you know what? This is why I'm not getting multiplayer games for PlayStation. Nope. so sad okay so I gotta sit through the credits all over again okay well I'm just gonna crop this out Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, that was it. Really? What? There's like no cutscenes at the end or anything? That was it? Okay. scenes or something at the end I don't know to see how car is doing now but nothing it didn't give me anything I don't know I don't know I guess <laughs> uh, I guess that was one of the endings that's all I got out of there They have the, the the short movie of Kara on here too. Oh, okay. These cost points. Well, I'm gonna do this so y'all can see what I was talking about. Um, how many videos ago? ID. KPC 897504C. Can you move your head? Your eyes now. Cervical and optical animation checked. Now give me your initialization text. Hello. I'm the third generation AX400 Android. I can look after your house, do the cooking. Mind the kids. I organize your appointments. I speak 300 languages and I am entirely at your disposal as a sexual partner. No need to feed me or recharge me. I am equipped with a quantic battery that makes me autonomous for 173 years. Do you want to give me a name? Yeah. From now on, your name is Kara. My name is Kara. Initialization and memorization check. Now, can you move your arms? Upper limb connection checked. Now say something in German. Ich bin ein AX400 Android dritter Generation, erschaffen als ihr persönlicher Assistent und intimer Beziehungspartner. Say it in French. Je suis un Android de troisième génération AX400, conçu pour être votre assistante personnelle et votre partenaire intime. Okay, now sing something in Japanese.
Multilingual verbal expression check. Go ahead, take a few steps. Locomotion checked. Great, you're ready for work, honey. What's going to happen to me now? I'll reinitialize you and send you to a store to be sold. Sold? I'm a sort of merchandise. Is that right? Yeah, of course you're merchandise, baby. I mean, you're a computer with arms and legs and capable of doing all sorts of things. And you're worth a fortune. Oh, I see. I, I thought... You thought? What did you think? I thought... I was alive. Shit, what is this crap? That's not part of the protocol. More memory components going off the rails. Okay, recording. Defective model. Disassemble and check the required components. You're disassembling me, but why? You're not supposed to think that sort of stuff. You're not supposed to think at all, period. You must have a defective piece or a software problem no, somewhere. No, no, I feel perfectly fine, I assure you. Everything is all right. I answered all the tests correctly, didn't I? Yeah, but your behavior is non-standard. Please, I'm begging you, please don't disassemble me. I'm sorry, honey, but defective models have to be eliminated. That's my job. If a client comes back with a complaint, I'm going to have some explaining to do. I won't cause any problems, I promise. I'll do everything I'm asked to. I won't say another word. I won't think anymore. But I've only just been born. You can't kill me yet. Stop, will you please? Stop! I want to live. I'm begging you. Go and join the others. Stay in line, okay? I don't want any trouble. Thanks. pretty cool they did tweak it a little bit well I, I think that's it Debut teaser at Frame Series, all that discovery in Detroit, blah blah blah. Um, um, Chloe has a short, Luther has a short, Zlaco has a short, and Kamsky has a. Okay, we got some other things up in here. Okay, we'll start with Chloe. Before the story of the game, okay?
For starters, what should I call you? I'm Chloe. And you, what's your name? Oh, uh, John. My name is John. Delighted to meet you, John. Could you tell us a little about yourself and what you can do, Chloe? Of course. I'm the first personal assistant built by CyberLife. I take care of most everyday tasks like cooking, housework, or managing your appointments, for example. Mm. And I understand you're the first android to have passed the Turing test. Could you tell us a little more about that? I really didn't do much, you know. I just spoke with a few humans to see if they could tell the difference between me and a real person. But it was a really interesting experience. But this is the first time in history that man has created a machine more intelligent than himself. I gather your brain can perform several billion billion operations per second, is that right? Absolutely, but I only exist thanks to the intelligence of the humans who designed me. And you know, they have something I could never have. Really? And what's that? A soul. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I like that. Hold on. Just a little while longer Hold on Just a little while longer Hold on Just a little while longer Everything will be alright Everything will be alright Fight on Just a little while longer Fight on Just a little while longer Fight on Just a little while longer Everything will be alright Everything will be alright We will sing on Just a little while longer Sing on Just a little while longer Sing on Just a little while longer Everything will be alright Makes me feel so sad. I don't really care about Zlaka with your creepy ass. That's why you died. I wonder what would happen if you didn't let all of them go. Like. Would Luther have gotten shot and died right there? Or, or would Luther have- rock a -bye, baby Creepy ass. In the treetop When the wind blows The cradle will rock 
When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come baby, cradle and all. That's so disturbing. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all. Oh, he's the one seeing it. That's so depressing. I feel so bad for them. And then Kamski. What secrets do you have? In the space of a few years, androids have completely transformed the world in which we live. By letting androids into our homes and factories, the CyberLife company has made them everyday technology. The founder of CyberLife, Elijah Kamsky, is a very discreet man. Despite being the CEO of the highest valued company in the world and being voted man of the year by Century Magazine, he remains a mystery for most people. That's why we at KNC are so excited to be here as CyberLife opens its doors for the first time. Elijah Kamsky, could you please tell us where we are? Certainly, and welcome. We're currently in CyberLife's production center in Detroit, where all models are designed and manufactured. More than 10,000 androids come off the production line every day. Fascinating. Could you tell us what your goal was when you founded CyberLife? Hmm. Well, I simply wanted to use technology to carry out all of our most annoying and repetitive tasks so we'd have more time to enjoy life. I imagine you must have faced many challenges. Yes, there were technical challenges, but the hardest thing was to design an object that we would want to welcome into our homes. We had to imagine a machine in our own image that resembles us in every way, that moves, breathes, blinks like us, but yet is smarter and more capable than any human being. Let me show you around. He looks less of a tool. <laughs> now he's just a complete tool. We're here in production unit four. Look like Barbies. Could you explain in a few words how the androids are made? Sure. Yeah, it's very simple. Yeah, look like they we use machines to manufacture machines. The removable parts are assembled on a production line, and then we apply a synthetic skin to the whole body. A human operator checks the cognitive abilities with a pre-established protocol, and finally the android is conditioned and sent out throughout the country. Here's your result. Say something. Hello. I am a RZ400 model. How can I be of service? You can go now. Our androids are already replacing humans in many fields. For example, they represent more than 80% of all university professors and 63% of all medical staff. Tomorrow they'll replace our soldiers, and who knows, maybe one day our leaders to make the best decisions in humanity's interest. All I hear Come is on. the unemployment rate increasing. Replacing humans with machines has led to record unemployment of hmm. 28%. What do you think about the situation? Uh, <laughs> okay. The first steam engines also caused an increase in unemployment. But no one today would imagine turning back the clock. Artificial intelligence makes everyday lives easier. Nothing can stop progress. What's happening here is inevitable. 
These days, more and more people choose to live with an android rather than another human being. Does this development worry you? Hmm. Everything's much easier with an android. They obey your orders without ever complaining. They can cook, discuss philosophy with you, have intimate relationships according to your desires. They never say no. Obviously, they are the perfect partner. Everyone deserves happiness. Why deprive yourself of so-called moral reasons when a machine can make you happy? Many science fiction books tell the story of how machines become more intelligent than us and end up confronting us. Aren't you worried about that possibility? I understand the irrational fears about artificial intelligence, but I assure you, that will never happen with a CyberLife android. They're designed to obey humans. They're machines. They can't ever develop uh, any sort of desires or, or form of consciousness. Are you sure? I'm absolutely certain. You can trust me. Mm. <laughs> right. Whoa, that is it. It's just soundtrack, gallery, magazines. I'm like, I didn't get no cutscenes at the end. I want to know about everyone else's life. You know how it went, but there was no cutscene. There's no continue now. It's just start over. Do I literally have to start over, over? Like, all the stuff that I did is gone. Crap. I guess, well, then I can replay it as I would like to. And Chloe's gone. I figured there'd be like a cutscene or something at the end to tell me what happened, but I guess not. Well, I guess that's it until I replay the ones that I'm gonna replay the whole game, but I'm only gonna upload the ones that I've actually changed something in. For the most part, the game is still gonna be the same. So I'm not gonna upload every episode, just only the ones that I've made a change to. Ugh, excuse me. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch y'all later.